Hey guys, this is Hussein from ABI Engineering, and today we will learn how to calculate the heat power produced by a single aluminum radiator element. First of all, an aluminum radiator is a heating device used to provide the necessary heating for a specific space in the winter season. It is composed of multiple and similar radiator elements joined together. It takes in hot water and gives back cooler water. The energy loss between the inlet and the outlet of the radiator due to the change in temperature of the water is in fact gained by the targeted space, thus increasing space air temperature to a comfortable value, which is usually around 20 degrees Celsius in the winter. In order to achieve this temperature, the radiator must produce a heating output to the space equal in value to the heat lost from the same space. Let us assume a space, which we will refer to as living room, that has a total heat loss of 2,500 watts at an indoor room temperature of 20 degrees Celsius and an outdoor temperature of 1 degree Celsius. In order to maintain the indoor temperature at 20 degrees Celsius, the radiator heat output must be equal to the heat loss. The radiator power is equal to the power produced from a single element multiplied by the number of elements. So if we knew the power produced by a single element, we can predict the number of elements needed inside our living room. Usually, in order to calculate heat transfer values, we use equations like Q is equal to U dot A dot delta T. But in our case, since radiators have an irregular shape and use multiple means of heat transfer, mainly convection and radiation, engineers using experimental procedures and regression analysis produce a characteristic equation for aluminum radiators which predicts the heat produced per element. Let us imagine an aluminum radiator and consider only a single element out of this radiator. The formula is in the following form. Q element is equal to Km multiplied by delta T to the power N. Q element is the thermal heat output generated by the radiator element in watts. Km is the characteristic constant of the radiator in watt per Kelvin. And n is the characteristic exponent of the equation due to the ratio of convection to radiation thermal output. It is a unitless exponent. n falls between 1.1 and 1.4, and km is close to 0.59 for a 35 centimeter radiator element and up to one for an 80 centimeter element. Delta T. Delta T is equal to TR minus T average and its unit is Kelvin. But what is TR and what is T average? First, TR is the room design temperature of the room where the radiator is located. Second, T average is the average temperature of the radiator, therefore if the inlet temperature of the radiator is T in and the outlet temperature is T out, T average is the actual average of these two values. Let's consider an actual example so that everything is clear. Our aim is to calculate the thermal output of this singular element of dimensions 66 centimeters in height, 8 centimeters in width, and 10 centimeters in depth. From the manufacturer's data sheet, we know that Km is equal to 0 0.81 and N is equal to 1.3046. Rewriting the characteristic equation we learned previously, we can deduce that in order to calculate the power produced by this element, we still require delta T. 
Delta T, on the other hand, is not a function of the radiator material or geometry, but actually is a function of the in-out temperatures of the radiator and the required room temperature. It is equal to the difference of the average of T in and T out and the room temperature. Okay, so the room temperature has to be 20 degrees Celsius because it's the comfort temperature in the winter season. On the other hand, the average radiator temperature is related to the border supply temperature and return temperature. Let's assume our case operates at a 10 degree temperature difference between supply and return and at a boiler supply temperature of 70 degrees Celsius and a resulting return temperature of 60 degrees Celsius. So the average radiator temperature would be the average of 70 and 60 and that is equal to 65 degrees Celsius. Therefore, delta T would be 65 minus 20, which is equal to 45 degrees Celsius. Replace all the values in the initial equation and you get a, a power of 116.2 watts per element. Piece of cake. Thank you very much for your time. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you in the next video. Hussein out.